What a lovely book, and welcome to Storytime. Today we'll be reading a classic from its original copy. This is the first time that this author wrote down this story, so it might be a little bit hard for me to follow. If I trip up, forgive me. It is called Little Fish Trish, and it is an environmental tale about friendship and danger that's quite hard to beat. Shall we? Little Fish Trish. Little Fish Trish was an adventurous sort, nimble and witty, she never got bored. Swimming through rivers, oceans, and seas, Little Fish Trish swam wherever she pleased. There's the fish. Rivers and oceans and sea dolphins. Be wary of them. She headed far east on an adventure to see if there was truly a place that lay out of her reach. Then up ahead, in water so dark, a figure approached she feared was a shark. But instead of turning and swimming away, she remembered a verse her mother would say. Never judge a fish by their fins. It's their actions you watch and not how they swim. And through hazy blue waters, the great beast approached, a harmless whale shark, just as she hoped. And right then and there, the great beast spoke. My goodness, this must be my luckiest day, for you're the first fish I've seen that swam not away. Trish just smiled and replied with a grin, well, you are quite large and have a shark swim. Please, my friend, I'm in need of your help. My tail's all entangled, and I don't think it's kelp. Cute little fish Trish knew right what to do. <clears throat> and with a mouthful of netting, she started to chew. For little fish Trish had seen these things before. It was known as netting and came from humans that lived on the shore. It only took her a couple of bites until the great mess began to unwind. And just as the great fish was finally free, the happy whale shark swam circles of glee. My goodness, that feels so amazingly great. Is there anything I could do for you, little fish? And please, don't hesitate. Said the whale shark, as happy as can be. So Trish asked, Could you take me east so new land I could see? Of course, he answered. Grab onto my fin. For as you say, I'm much larger and have a much faster swim. As the two sliced through an ocean of blue, they introduced themselves, as all polite fish do. My name is Trish. I come from the reef. Helping's my hobby and adventures I seek. A little confused, the whale shark knew not what to say. For when it came to a name, none had ever come his way. But feeling the joy of being set free, he looked back at Trish and said, My name's Lucky. Only a few hours had passed until the two new friends saw a sight that made both of them gasp. An ancient sea turtle, who seemed in distress, wearing strange clear rings that were choking his neck. Exhausted and tired, the turtle struggled to breathe. He gazed at the two and eked out a plea. Little fish Trish, no stranger to these things, had seen them floating before. Humans called them six-pack rings. Trish swam to the turtle and started to bite each one of the rings that wound oh so tight. Oh, thank you so much, the sea turtle said. Without your quick thinking, I'd surely be dead. Trish was sad and the turtle had endured any pain. More so she feared it happen again. The rings like the netting that made her friends sore, both came from humans who lived on the shore. She needed a way to lessen these, these troubles. Then Trish spotted a swimmer with very strange bubbles. A group of divers flashing strange lights surrounded Lucky, but they seemed very nice. 
They petted his skin, and one even gave him a kiss. These are good humans, thought little fish Trish. So she told each and every diver there to tell all the other humans to treat the ocean with care. Then looked down at Lucky, grabbed onto his fin, and yelled, Away we go east to adventure, my new friend. The end. That was Little Fish Trish. I hope you enjoyed. There'll be many more to come.